What's up guys, Genesis King here, and welcome back to Stellaris Star Trek New Horizons mod, playing as the Borg Collective. Uh, for those eagle-eyed viewers of you, you will notice uh, up here that it is two years after the end of the last episode. Um, I did let the game run a little bit, and to be 100% honest, I forgot to save at the end of the last episode. Full transparency. So we're picking up right here, it was the most recent autosave, uh, to the end of the last episode. So we'll go ahead and we will pick up from there. Uh, we are receiving transmission from the Gabali Republic. Okay. Uh, and the first thing that I want to get doing today is in this system right here. And we're going to cluster these up. I want to get another unit complex going. They're not that expensive. Only a thousand minerals and uh, 500 alloys. And we need to get that going now so that we can get our population boosted uh, and continue to produce alloys research etc without taking too much territory uh we finished atmospheric nanite dispersal so that's a quicker assimilation process lovely um let's grab let's grab the army upkeep it's the cheapest we'll uh we'll just cycle through that tech and uh, so far i really do appreciate all your support on this series um it's been great don't forget to hit that like button to keep supporting the series and supporting the channel uh, the other thing that I want to do uh, is with this fleet manager, um, we're actually, let me pause here, um, we're building more probes, I want to go away from that, and I actually only want to do this, and I want to get another pyramid into the fleet. Um, so we'll drop that down to 9, we'll finish both of those guys, we'll call that good, uh, and then we'll get a pyramid going rather than just a probe. Uh, and we do have menial unemployment here. I want to get my energy and credit energy credits going, uh, so let's get a fusion reactor going and get that boosted just a little bit. Uh, we are over our naval cap, but it, fine, just plus eleven percent. All right, we have an encounter in Buckholes. Uh, let's go ahead and research that. Uh, in this episode, I I do think we are going to go to war with someone to assimilate, uh, and then move their pops back to our unit complexes and then uh, give the planets back. Uh, we have established communications with the Luridians. Okay. And we have a tradition available. Uh, Transwarp relay stations. Admin cap plus 20. You know, that will actually help us. Yeah, let's do that. I Again, I've said this in every episode so far, I think... Never usually pay attention to the admin cap, but I guess in this series we kind of pay attention to it and have been paying attention to it. Uh, so it's going to take quite a while to get that unit complex up, but it'll be well worth it. Uh, we've increased the mast, mast? <laughs> the max districts, uh, the number of cities we can do. Torpedoes, omnidirectional impulse array, die cobalt charge. Uh, let's get the impulse array right here. Uh, what did we finish? Uh, multi-regenerative force field. Uh, de dedicated antimatter pylon 2. Uh, astromet astrometrics lab. Or EPS manifold. Uh, let's go with the EPS manifold. That sounds fine. Let's check out our ships here. Yeah, we got a bit of an upgrade there. So we will do that. Lovely. Um, can we afford to upgrade these guys? We can. Let's go ahead and get those guys upgraded. And let's see. That's 2.1k. What's their fleet looking like? Uh, fleet is actually inferior. So, I think the Nurkadians are going to be our first target. Uh, there's three nice planets right here. And after we do that, if we can get down to, I think it's this system... Yeah, that's got seven pops right there. Uh, as we found out oops, in the last episode, uh, scooping or uh, harvesting a colony with a construction ship in the war did like 80 some odd percent war score. So we're not going to do that. We're actually going to invade, um, which means, which means we need to get drone armies going. So let's get a bunch of that going. Uh, and I find in this mod, it's 
usually better to overkill it on armies than to underkill it uh, because the AI tends to really bulk up the ground defenses. Uh, now, on these planets where there's like, you know, one pop, two pops, I, I don't think... Uh, I don't think it's going to be that big of a problem that they're going to have a lot of defenses there. Um, but who who knows? Time is on our uh, fleet power is equivalent. We could hit these guys. These planets are a lot more juicy than the ones down here. But... I think at this point we need to be selective on who we attack. Uh, and I think that's going to be these guys. Because as I said, and we saw, their fleet power is inferior to ours. Um, we'll want to keep an eye on them to make sure they don't get more powerful than us. But we're going to take the easy target to start out here. Uh, and we'll go from there. All right, I wonder what was in that system. Alien space station and alien vessels. Okay. You're upgraded, and that took you to 2.2k. Still no shields, which is interesting. You have a multi-regenerative force field, but you don't have shields. So basically just improves armor hit points and armor regen. All right. All right we can probably go ahead and get our fleet moving. Um, I'm curious what it's going to do to our numbers when it undocks. And actually, can I... Can I afford one of these right now? Almost? Hmm, let's... Let's see, can I buy more alloys so we can get another one of those mid? Not quite, but we can get pretty close. Uh, let me sell some of these off. And then can I get more alloys? No, but okay, we're really dang close. So that will get us there relatively quickly. Well, not necessarily relatively quickly, uh, but it will get us there quicker. Uh, how far are you along? You're at 46%. All right. Now it is just a matter of time. Uh, we can go ahead and kick off the war without without that pyramid. That should be okay. Yeah, it's still inferior. Um, do you have any defense packs? Oh, you do. I think it will be fine. Because presumably it's somebody over here. Uh, but you know what? We'll, we'll go for it. Because uh, we're the Borg and we don't give a crap. Alright, armies... Go ahead and merge. Yeah, I'd like to wait to kick this off until we've got a decent sized army going. Just for efficiency's sake, um, I don't necessarily want to have to sit and wait for our armies to get down here. So I'd like to get this built up and get it down. Uh, in the meantime, let's take a look at our planet. Uh, do we want to... Ooh, we need to do some sort of a maintenance. Um, yeah, let's get a maintenance depot going. Uh, we're not short on housing. I do feel like maybe build another research node. Because this is our main research planet. Or, I'm sorry, our main, uh, main research unit complex. How much alloys is this kicking out? It's kicking out 19. I were to do that, but uh, we don't have, do we have deuterium? No, we don't. All right, so for now, it is two upkeep and we are negative three energy credits, which ain't great. We've only got one of three. Um, yeah. We most definitely need to get in another war so we can grab not necessarily territory, but pops to work our jobs. Okay, let's go ahead and go for it. Um, we are really close to get that next ship. But, let's go ahead and kick this off. Uh, interesting, sure. 
Oops. Player War? Ah, they're allied with the Brunali. Okay. Oh, wait, maybe not. Wait, do they have defense packs with all these guys? No, no, no just the Brunali. Who's inferior? Okay, yeah, whatever. I'm not worried about it at all. Alright, let's go. And more than likely, we'll give this... We won't give the territory back. But, more than likely, uh, we will not keep this territory when all is said and done. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, Nanite projectors, so that's our army upkeep, which is actually good since we're, uh, we're building a lot of those guys. Uh, armored drone. We could get better armies. Starbase reinforcement. Which is an edict. Uh, and the central node. Let's grab the central node. Come on, make quick work of it. Let's go. Army recruitment's finished. Wow, really? Guess maybe I didn't queue that many up. All right, you all merge. Let's go ahead and recruit a leader. Uh, ship fire rate, army damage plus ten percent. What is this? Defense army damage. Okay, so either one of these will be fine. All right, and let's get you headed at least down to, at least down to here. Uh, and let's actually. Oh, actually, we're still kicking out some on. Do these plans. Oh, well, we'll send reinforcements afterwards. Because more than likely, these, uh, these places aren't going to... Well, what's going to be the quickest way to get there? Probably that way. Uh, they're not going to have that much of a defense army, so we can move along and do that. God, our ships are so quick. I hope there's nothing in that system. Ooh, that would have sucked. Alright, what, uh, what did we finish? Uh, the EPS manifolds. Okay. Uh, we could improve our research districts. Increases job productivity. Um, let's grab the reinforced cutting beam. Uh, anything to make our ships stronger, uh, is definitely the route that we're going to go. Construction ship, you're chilling up there. Let's come down here in case we do want to keep some of this territory. Um, and I know in the last episode, we did input that whole, uh, if we're in a white piece, no planet harvesting, or sorry, colony harvesting. Uh, and someone in the comments, and I'm, I'm forgetting your name, and I, I apologize if you're watching right now. Uh, somebody mentioned, hey, in a white piece, they're pretty sure that you can't actually colony harvest, and that would make perfect sense. So I hope that's the way they built it into the game. Uh, even if it's not, we're not going to take advantage of it. And actually, you know, it would have been smarter to go that way to get the energy credits on the way down. Uh, oh well. Oh well. Merge you guys up. Very easily take this. And yeah, they haven't even sent their fleet in. Which is interesting. Alright, let's see how strong stations you guys have. Stronger than 2.2k, this whole thing was for naught. 1.3. Ah, yeah, we've got this. Alright, you go ahead and... Go ahead and head down here. Um... Yeah. Should melt relatively quickly. Especially once we get through the fighter craft. Decent amount of armor. Uh, but we're cutting through that crap real quick. And yeah, that'll start shifting. Because this is basically all hull points. Or actually, that is all this is, is the hull points. So it's always going to look like we're not doing as well against the station. Um, just based on the 20,000 that it has. Okay, so they've got multiple fleets coming in here. Let's see... Well, they're going to pop out. We should be able to crush them. We're going to be going into it a little bit hurt. Uh, but... Should be fine. Okay, so what do we got? We got a... 51 and a 940. 
Oh boy. We're gonna wreck these guys. Alright, go. You you guys chill. I, I don't want you coming over here. Uh, let's see what they got going on here. Um, they've got more shields than armor, which actually kind of hurts us. Well, actually it doesn't because we have a lot of shield pen. A lot of shield penetration. Um, what's our pyramid? What do we got here? Yeah, you know what? We shouldn't have any issue with these guys. That's pretty cool. I think they're fire and purple? What's your green? Very distinguishable. I can never figure out who is determined to be the attacker and the defender in these battles. I'm sure I could look it up on the line, but I just haven't. Yep. Wiping these guys pretty good. Most of their shields are down at this point. Well, there's still some with shields. A little bit of shields. Not much, though. Alright, um... Let's check the defenses here. Oh, yeah. Not much at all. Um, okay. Land armies. Oh, wow. We have gone... We've gone negative on Dilithium. Really? Okay, I'm not worried about that either. Um, okay. How have we got negative on dilithium? Oh, uh, is it be probably because our ships are out and about, maybe? Um, can I build anything for dilithium? I can for deuterium, which is good to know. Um, doesn't look like it. Maybe at one of our stations? Yeah, we can do it to lithium manufactory. Um, let's build that there. That should get us back into the positive. We just need the one. Sweet. Alright, we down here we are. Um, you guys are just gonna auto repair, which is good. I'm gonna have you sit here and just jump them the minute they come out. Should just be maybe one ship, maybe a couple ships. And yeah, the plan here is going to be invade the planets, assimilate the pops, move them off of the planets, uh, and then move them back to the unit complexes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, can I tell... how quickly these guys are going to... Uh, no, I don't want them to be slaves. Is that her policies? Um, population control, pre-sapience, initial border, first contact, native enlightenment, war flight. Why are those guys enslaved? Is that a setting that I need to change somewhere? I want these guys... Oh, right. Species rights. No? Uh, citizenship, slaves, undesirables. They get purged. Is the only way I can get... Assimilated pops? Is to colony harvest? That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right at all. I can't change. I can't change the type of slavery. Like, what about what about these guys? So if I change you, machine or mechanoid? Okay, um, let me know in the comments 
But yeah, let me know in the comments below what I need to do. Because I was not aware that it didn't auto-assimilate. That changes the entirety of this war. Um, let's fight this out here. While we talk about this. Um, I was not prepared for that. Oh. Oh. Oh, it just doesn't show it. Oh. Very, very nice. Okay. Okay. Got it. But it does leave them as slaves. I don't think it's done all of them yet. Has it? No, it has not. Just the one. Okay, so we'll, we'll let that take its course. That was weird. I thought it did it instantaneously. Or it would have had some sort of clock next to it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Alright, we basically wiped their fleets. Um, You're going to repair as we go, so go ahead and come over here. Uh, and you head that direction as well. Because, yeah, we're just going to sweep through these planets. Um, do we want this system up here? It's got ice. I don't know if we need that per se. I do actually want to keep this system because it has the 20 deuterium. And that'll let us upgrade our... Uh, what district is it? Well, multiple, but the production nodes and the energy nodes actually require deuterium. So, that'll be a good system for us to keep. Quite honestly, we may keep most of this, but we'll see. Alright, Omnidirectional High Gain Impulse Rate is done. Assault Army Damage plus 20%. Actually, yes, please. Let's do that. Uh, let's merge you guys up. And probably send you south. Uh, critical store. What are we short on? Dilithium. Okay, fine, but... Where a critical resource shortage, this has profoundly shortage of bionutrients. Oh, right, because we have ops um, that are not actually assimilated. That's not the system I want. That's the system I want. I do think it is just the one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So, like, if I... Let's resettle. Um, I want you to go to... Unicomplex 1. There we go. And that'll be fine. That'll do it. Low stability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. Uh, armies actually chill here for a minute so that you don't go in first. Go ahead and build me that mining station. There's the assimilation. Uh, let's grab another one. Let's go... Starbase maintenance. Okay, what do we get for starting this? Anomaly research speed. Okay, whatever. Uh, building refund by plus 25%. Okay. Uh, f increase starbase cap by two. Not bad, but I think... I think we want to go ahead and get this so we can increase our unit complexes that we can build. So really, this is hurting us, but it's hurting one pop, or actually no pops, I think. Yeah, so if I resettle you... You are a slave. Why have you not... Uh, okay, we've run into another fleet. Yeah, the board mechanics are just different, man. They are just different. Alright, let's hit the station. If you'll let me click it. There we go. 
There's our pyramid going in there. Uh, oh, speaking of which, ah, we have to wait till after the battle. Uh, we can get another pyramid built. Okay, that's there. This is the combat. All right. Oh, did we lose something or did somebody... Yeah, we lost a probe. Probably should have repaired before we came down here. But I think we'll be okay. It might be close, but I think we'll be okay. Oops. Because, yeah, we're... We threw your shields. Oh, yeah, we're well through your shields. Well, I guess you didn't have shields, so just your armor. We're through your armor. All right, you can go ahead and move. Yep, see, it recalculated at the end of the month, so we're good. Uh, those are no longer slaves. Let's resettle to... I guess it doesn't matter where we go. Hey. Okay. Uh, and let's go ahead and downgrade you. Well, you know what? Let's let's hold off on that. All right, armies. Go ahead and hit the deck. And honestly, I probably should have gone straight down here. We'll hit this one, and then we'll go down here. Why is mine so high? Destruction of Eversoul 1. Oh, is it? Oh, it's because I moved all the pops off before the war was over. Oh, that's so dumb. I mean, it's good to know. It's good to know. Oh, no, it's actually just invading the planet. It's plus 30%. Oh, man, this is going to inhibit our expansion a lot. A lot. Okay. Um. They are offering us a status quo piece. And being at 100%, what is our, what's the negative on it? Oh, we need to pause. Pause, 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 pause. Um. Yeah. Let me know in the comments below um, if we should keep going on this war and push it until we're forced out or if we should accept that white piece because we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more sci-fi gaming fun. With that, I will talk to you all in the next one. Later, everybody.